This video will cover the midline constraint. The midline constraint is used between nodes and can only be placed on lines, regular, and reference. Any node can be placed at the midpoint including nodes on circles, arcs, ellipses, independent nodes, and others. As with the other sketch constraints, once this constraint is applied, if the line's length is changed, the midline constraint will continuously update. There are two different ways to add the midline constraint. The first way attaches a node to the midpoint of an existing line. To apply the midline constraint in this way, first make sure you have hints turned on, select the midline constraint, then left click on an existing line anywhere between its endpoints, but do not select one of its endpoints. Now select a node to be moved to that midpoint. As you can see, if the length of the first line is changed, the node remains attached to its midpoint. The second way is with a line already sketched. To use this method, start to sketch a new object by putting the mouse cursor over the line and the midline node will appear. Click on the node and will automatically apply the midline constraint. In this tutorial, you have learned how the midline constraint is used between nodes and can only be placed on regular and reference lines. The midline constraint can be used two different ways. You can manually connect a node to the middle of an existing line using the midline constraint, or you can start a new object by placing its first node at the midpoint of that line. 